All right, so we shall begin looking at trigonometry. Last time we just established uh, the sine rule. So in this video, we shall mainly focus on um, the cosine rule. So using this cosine rule, we can find the missing side. We can as well find the missing angle. So now how does this cosine rule or when shall we apply the cosine rule? We are going to apply the cosine rule majorly or rather mainly in these two cases. Case one, we have um, a situation where we have been given a, um, two lines. So the way we've been given this line, AB, and then this line, AC, then between these two lines, there is an angle. So we have that given and also that given, then between them, we have been given an angle. So in this case, we are going to use the cosine rule. So what is the formula that we are going to use? So we are going to say, in this case, you can find this missing side D, BC. So now remember, when we established this, we said BC is a side of the angle opposite which A um, to, to, to it is A. So I'm going to say this is small letter A. Then this one, it is opposite to that. So this is small letter B. And then opposite to angle C, is simply small letter C. So we are looking for the side BC. We are going to say the square of A is equal to, now we are going to square the two sides that are between your angle. So we are going to say this B squared plus C squared. So we are going to say B squared plus your C squared then you say minus two B C of what? Cos angle A. So that is your formula you are going to use. So in this case, what we are simply going to do, we are looking for this angle. We are just going to get our values. The value for B, we're just going to get 30, the value for C, we are going to get 10 there minus the same. Where there's B, we put 30. Where there's C, we put 10. Then cos A, capital A, we are going to get the angle. Remember, the angle is represented by capital letter A or capital letter, any letter, but it should be a capital letter. That means we are representing A and we are representing an angle. So this is what I'm talking about. We're going to say A squared is equal to B, we have 30 squared plus C, we have 10. So we're going to square it minus two. Then we have our B is 30. Then our C is 10. Then we say, cause what is angle A? Angle A is 120. So we are going now to just do the algebra there. Okay, but that is not the idea for, for this our, our question. We can finish it up in the, in the next coming examples. Now let's look at our case two. So case two is when you have been given a triangle and only sides have been given. There is no angle given here. So in this case, you're only going to be asked, they can ask you to say find angle Q. They can ask you to say find angle R, find the angle P. They can ask you to find those questions. Now, how do we go about such? So the same way we did here, okay. The same way we did in case one, we're going to say this is angle Q and opposite to it, is side D, small letter Q. This is angle R, opposite to it, is 
um, small letter R there. Then this is angle P opposite to it is that, which is small letter P. So what does this mean? We are going to come up with a formula. So let's take, for instance, now they're, they're asking us to say, find the angle Q, P, R. So remember the letter which is in the middle is the one that you are looking for. So you are going to go at that angle. You are going to go at that angle. So you are looking for that angle. So what are you going to do? So the same formula you used here, we are going to say, this is the angle you are looking for. Opposite to it is side P. So I'm going to say P squared is equal to, now, if, when you look at this angle, the two sides that are covering this angle are this one and that one. So I'm going to say R squared plus Q squared minus two R Q, like that. Then cos, what is your angle? Your angle is, it is P. So now you are going to say, in this case, what are you looking for? You are looking for the angle. So what do you do? You make cos P the subject of the formula. So what do you, how do you do that? You are going to take this one to the other side. Then this whole thing here should come this side. So how do you mean there? So we are saying, start with this. So I'm going to say two R Q cos capital letter P is equal to, we have R here squared plus P squared. Then this one, when it comes this other side, it will, Okay. Okay, so it will be minus P squared, like that. Now, you are not interested in the two R Q, so we are going to divide through by two R Q. So divide both sides even here to R Q. So you can simply cancel that and cancel there. Then you are going to say cos P is equal to R squared plus P squared minus, um, minus P squared. No, 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 this is not P. This is supposed to be Q. Okay. That is supposed to be Q. Remember what we have. So we are saying plus Q squared minus P squared over 2 R Q. So this is now the formula that we are going to use to find our angle. P. So how do we do that one? We are simply going to, um, we're going to replace where there is P, we are going to be, where there's small letter P, we're going to put 20. Where there's R, we're going to put 10. Where there's uh, small letter Q, we're going to put 40, like that, okay? So what we mean here is you have a case like this one. Okay. So we are going to say cos P is equal to your R here is 10. So you say squared plus your Q, your Q is 40. So you square it minus your P is 20 you square it, then you are going to say over two, your R is 10, then your Q 
your q is 40. So you can say cos p is, now you can punch there, make sure your calculator at this point is in degree mode. So we are going to say we have a 10 there, which we are squaring, plus 40 squared minus minus 20 squared. So you have that divide by 20 times 40. What do we have? Okay, so we have that, 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 and that. 10 squared plus 40 squared. What do we have there? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Okay. So um, I think we, we are going to make a bit of a change there. Let's let's use this number, not not forty, but instead, okay. But instead, we use. Let's use a thirteen. Okay, so. We are going to to do a bit of okay. So we are going to say our R there is ten squared plus our um, Q. Our Q we have reduced it to thirteen because of that error that we had minus twenty squared over two times 10 times 13. So we are now going to simplify that. What are we getting? 13, if you guys notice an error here, make sure that you, you put that in the comment section so that I'll be able to correct it. K plus 13 squared minus 20 squared. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So um, when we carry out these calculations, we are going to get, um, sorry for that. We are going to get 0 0.89556. Okay, so the numbers keep going. So here, I'm just going to say to find the angle P, you are going to say cos inverse of 0 0.2, or the answer that you got, 5561, like that. Then P, when you punch your calculator, you find this will be. Um, Point you find your answer will be 26. Of course, these are just estimated values. The angle is very small. Okay, but generally here, we just wanted to see how we come up with a formula that we use um, when we just have sides, sides and side we are looking for, um, for an angle. That is what we do. Now we're going to be more clear when we when when we actually look at the next example. Do you guys have questions? Hello?
Hello, are you guys able to get me?